flags up, and away they go. They came out decently over here. Lady Regent has come out as one of the leaders, in fact. Just gets a shake to stay in touch, and Lady Regent goes off to lead the field. Sea Anemone on the outside, going to keep that one busy for the first 200 meters as Lady Regent is just showing signs of wanting to run off the course, and there she goes. She's now gone five deep onto the turn, and that allows Sea Anemone to go off and lead them with Strange Magic in third. Cape Lights is behind that. Peyton's Tears sat on about five lengths off them, and then comes United Council at the back end of the field. They went past the 1,000 and Lady Regent is not going to be persevered with. She's gone off the course and she doesn't want to race this afternoon. Sea Anemone is now in front with Cape Lights in second. Strange Magic is against the panels in third. United Council behind that one and out back is Peyton's Tears about five lengths off the leader. So Sea Anemone is going to guide them onto the dog leg with just a half a length to spare. Cape Lights is on the outside. Pink Sleeves and pink cap. On the inside is Strange Magic. Then on the outside is United Council and Peyton's Tears now being asked for an effort. Four lanes off them. The race develops and Sea Anemone feels a bit of pressure with Strange Magic, Cape Lights, United Council. Peyton's Tears being asked for an effort. Still four lanes off them. 300 meters left to go. They spread across the track. Strange Magic comes at Sea Anemone, Cape Lights, United Council. Peyton's Tears being asked for maximum at Sea Anemone. Sea Anemone shows there's a lot of heart out there. Strange Magic tries, but tries in vain. Sea Anemone is going to win it. Strange Magic in second. Peyton's Tears just doesn't want to win. Runs third. And then behind them, Cape Lights and United Council. United Council and a long way back to Lady Regent. So let's have a look at the head-on replay. Like I said, they moved in together. They went through the 400. There were a good three or four of them that had winning chances. But Sea Anemone, under a strong ride from JP, fights him off the daughter of Dynasty to become a two-time winner from seven outings. Well done to the Volkerbos Drift PTY Limited team, to Mrs. Mary Slack, well played. And, of course, this one bred by Volkerbos Drift and Maritz Fontaine Stud Farm. I think she'll have a big season in front of her. The penny still hasn't quite dropped with Sea Anemone, and she wins a good race this afternoon. Let's go back to the studio. Place Accumulator starts in race three. Well, you're welcomed back to Turfentown after the running of race two, where the wind has died down considerably. I'm just looking at the flags. It's not as uh, pumping as it was. There's still a bit of a breeze blowing. And see an enemy has uh, gone off and won well. And a uh, good, shrewd tactical ride there, I thought. In a small field, you wanted to take up the, the honours by leading them. And uh, she galloped all the way through to the line. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I don't think it was a plan. Um, I'd have liked one of us to pull me through into this, just into the straight. But um, well, that other horse was trying to, but ran off the course. A little bit of drama yeah, in there, yeah. yeah. So eventually, when the drama happened, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna. I thought she's pretty fit. Uh, I'm very happy with the back row. Uh, and uh, it felt like they half gave it to me as well when I got to pick the ears, and I, I did it very easy in front and uh, got into the straight. Just let on wine and uh, rode a confident in the race, and she enjoyed it. Absolutely, and great to get opportunities for the powerful De Cox stable because obviously a lot of riders have uh, moved away and not riding here as much as they would have. So nice to pick up uh, a couple of rides from them. Yes, definitely. It's obviously very nice riding for Mr. De Cox. It's always been, um, always uh, had some nice success for him. And when he asked me to come, come help out, he said he'll give me some support. It was obviously um, no question about it. I was always going to put my hand out and say I'd love to get the job. And uh, it's slowly paying off. Um, I'm sure it will start warming up now. Obviously, big well done to Mr. Rakok and everyone back in the oh, Congratulations. What do you think of this filly going forward in terms of trip? That's what I'm interested in, because the mother was a grade one sprinter, Al Borensi. No, definitely, I think the further the better with this filly. Okay. Like, I think um, Miles proper game for now, but um, I think for the future, 18, 2000, yeah. Well, that's great news. Well done, JP. Just a big thank you to my sponsor, Brighton Auctioneers. Thank you. Congratulations, JP van der Merwe. Let's uh, speak to the winning groom. Um, congratulations. I don't know where the check is. Your name is Johnny. Yeah, me, I'm Johnny. Well done, Johnny. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, let's give you your check of 1,500 rand courtesy of World Sports Betting. This is one of your horses that you look after. Very nice horse. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you know how much it is to bring a win. I'm so excited. I want to say thanks to the sponsor, World, World Sports Betting, and to well done to this table. Last but not least, to our sponsor, um, uh, Betway. Betway. 
congratulations. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Well, here we are, Johnny. 1,500 Rand. There's your prize, World Sports Betting. Congratulations. Well looked after and well turned out. I thought she looked tremendous, did um, the winner here, the daughter of uh, El Boran C. So congratulations go to the stable of Mike DeCock. Ven Vengi's coming in. Mascati. Mascati, Masquera say. Masquera say. Masquera, Masquera. Are you well? I'm well. This is my fellow countryman from Zimbabwe. Um, congratulations. A nice win, this horse. Yeah, you know, it just come from a small rest. So I just need to thank uh, JP for the good ride which you have done. And also Miss Slack, uh, which support us on this table, uh, Betway. Uh, those are the people which I want to uh, thank today. How's the stable going? Uh, the big man's coming back on Monday, I think. Uh, he's been in Australia, so it'll be nice to have him back in the, uh, back in the yard. Yeah, he's, he will be back next week. Uh, you know, the stable is a little bit quiet. And, you know, during this time of hard uh, uh, courses, so it's tough for the horses to run on the course of your future is t uh, so hard. What's the string looking like? Strong. You've still got some very nice horses there. Yeah, we are still strong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So looking forward to the season. Yeah, we are still waiting for the season. Well, congratulations, Vengi. All the best. What about the rest of today? Yeah, we got Zinovi. Uh, I think uh, uh, place chance. And uh, I still have another... Um, what is this name? Um, also, I think all my horses, like today, they've got all place chances. Place chances. Yes. Sir. Tatenda, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. And all the best. Eh? Thank you so much. Okay. Koro Koto to uh, Vengi and the stable of Mike de Kock winning here and winning it well with Sia Nenmi going on and winning another race in her career. As you heard from JP, she's looking for further than this. And that is uh, great prospects for Mary Slack and her Filkerboss Drift outfit. Congratulations. Go to the connections of the second horse as well. I thought Strange Magic ran really well back in second, despite uh, wanting to um, incline not to one to race today, but eventually taking her place and running second. As I said in the lead up, a bit disappointing from the Robbie Sage duo.